Let's see how good your fixed point iteration really is, Moi. We have the point P lies on the curve with equation cube root, 1 plus 3 e to the 3x cubed, x being positive. Given that the tangent at C at P passes through the origin, determine the, co determine the coordinates of P, correct to 3SF, using fixed point iteration. Okay, now I have no idea uh, what this graph looks like. In the exam, perhaps they would uh, show you, but it's an exponential, well, looks like an exponential. Let's just pretend it looks something like this, okay? Now they're saying the tangent goes through the origin. So like this, the tangent at some point is going through the origin. They're saying find the coordinates of P, so find the X and the Y value, okay? So it makes sense then to work out what the equation of the tangent is and kind of fix the situations that it has to go through the origin. Well, if it mentions tangent, what's the first thing we should be doing is to find the gradient. So we're gonna differentiate this. So we have y is, now we're gonna rewrite it as one plus three e three x cubed to the power of one third. Then we can differentiate that. Um, so we're gonna differentiate what's on the inside first. It's a power function, right? So we cover that up, we're gonna differentiate this. Now three is just a multiplier, so forget about that. So we're gonna differentiate this e to three x cubed. We differentiate the power first. Three x cubed, bring down the three, nine, not quite off the power, nine x squared. Nine x squared times three is 27 x squared. E to three x cubed. Then we're gonna bring down the power. So bring down the third, which is just gonna make that over three. Then we're gonna knock one off the power. Okay, it's not looking nice, but we do need to find this gradient at this point P. So we're gonna to have to give it a name. Uh, let's call it K. Okay. So just imagine I've substituted in K here. We also need to work out what the equation of the, the function is. Uh, the tangent, sorry, we're gonna need the x and y coordinate. We know the x coordinate, we're gonna find the y coordinate by subbing into there. I'm just gonna go straight into y minus y1. So we're gonna go y, so we're gonna say at x is k, we get y minus the y coordinate, which I'm gonna write as one plus three e to three k cubed to the power of a third. Yeah, that's my y coordinate, just double checking everything, power third, is the gradient, which is nine, k squared, e, three k cubed. Now this I'm gonna write in the denominator. So we get one plus three, e, three k cubed, to the power of two thirds. Man, you have to be really careful with this. Uh, 9k squared 3, yeah, over 1 plus 3, 3k cubed, two, yeah, times x minus the x coordinate. Now this tangent has to go through the origin, meaning the x and y are zero, yeah? So if uh, x and y are zero, I'm gonna write it here. So at zero, zero, just so I don't need to write a whole new step, guys. Just trust me on this. Yeah, I don't think you guys wanna watch me write this again. The X and Y have to be zero. And now we need to solve for K. Okay. So they want us to somehow solve for K here. All right, so, let's just go with the flow. I'm gonna multiply through by this denominator. When you multiply through by this denominator, you're gonna add the powers, one third, plus this is just one. So we get minus one plus three e three k cubed to the power of one, but also the negatives cancel on both sides. So I don't even need the negative. So actually I don't even need the bracket anymore. Okay. Equals 9k squared times k would be 9k cubed. Then we have e 
to 3k cubed. Now they do want us to use an iterative method, okay, using fixed point iteration. Now fixed point iteration means to make it equal zero and then use that as our function, all right? So, uh, should we just move this to this side? So we're gonna let f of x equal one plus three e three k cubed minus nine k cubed e three k cubed. Right? Uh, is there a nicer function we could use here? Potentially, I guess, by factorizing, right? So f of x, this will be easier to then type in the calculator as 1 plus 3, so 3 goes into both, e 3k cubed 1 minus 3k cubed. Now the thing about this is we need to find a change in sign and then do the iteration. Now there is a cheeky way of doing this. Now I'm going to use my calculator, but uh, I will have to have some kind of visual on the screen of what I'm doing. So on my 991EX, which is the best calculator ever made, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press menu, then number 9, which takes me to the table function, and it says f of x. So I'm going to type in 1 plus 3e e to the power of 3x cubed times 1 minus 3 x to the power of 3. Okay, 1 minus 3, x power 3, yep. Then you press equals, it will ask you for g of x, forget about that. And it's going to ask you for the start and the end. I'm going to start at 0, end at 5, and my step is 1. And now I'm looking for a change in sign. And I see the change in sign between 0 and 1. Okay, so when between x is 0 and x is 1, I see that when x is 0, I get 4. And then when x is 2, I get minus 119, so it changes quite dramatically. So between 0 and 1. So when you sub in 0, you get 4, and this you get minus 119.5 dot dot dot. So uh, I'm going to say change in sign. And f of x continuous for uh, x... Uh, between 0 and 1, therefore root lies between 0 and 1, okay? Now the next thing we're going to have to do here is we're solving this for 0, right? We're going to have to make it equal 0 and then do the iteration, okay? So uh, I need to keep this working because um, otherwise I won't have... I'm just not going to recopy that. I think we just need all our working out. Unlike my previous question sometimes. Okay, so we know it's between 0 and 1. We now need to rearrange for x. That's what's, what fixed point iteration is. Okay, and I know I've written f of x here, guys. It's actually f of k. It's not that deep, but I'll change it just to be formal here. So usually what we do with fixed point iterations, we re rearrange for x equals g of x, right? But in our case, we need to do k equals g of k. So we need to rearrange k is g of k when f of x or f of k is 0. Now if we make this equal 0 again, or even this one, so when we make that equal 0, we have 1 plus 3e 3k cubed, uh, 1 minus 3k cubed. I think it's obvious which k value we're rearranging for is that one, right? So you're going to get minus 1 divided by this. So I get 1 minus 3k cubed is minus 1 over this. That comes here, that comes here. So it become 1 plus. 1 over 3e, 3k cubed, is 3k cubed. Divide everything by 3, so I get a third. So this will become a third, and this will become 1 ninth. So 1 third plus 1 ninth e, 3k cubed, is k cubed. And then we're going to cube root all of that. 
Okay. Now, what's my first iteration going to be? I mean, we said it's between 0 and 1. I guess we could, I don't know, I like to, we could start with 0. 0 is going to be a nice one to choose, right? So, my first iteration, so technically it's kn plus 1 is kn. So, let's start with k0 being 0. Now, I think I've rubbed it out now. I think we wanted a solution to 3SF. So, now... This is going to be my Km plus 1, and this is my Km. So Km is what I'm going to compute the answer button with. So I'm going to go menu 1, I'm going to do 0 equals answer equal, and then I'm going to type that in. So I'm going to get cube root of 1 third plus 1 over 9 e, whoops, I did sum, e to the power of 3 answer cubed. Okay, so to 3SF, I get 0 0.763, 0 point, so we keep pressing equals now, 1, 3, 0 0.718, and there we go, K4 is 0 0.718, okay? So we're going to say both K3 and K4, both... K3 and K4 agree to 3SF, therefore X is approximately 0 0.718 to 3SF. But we're not done yet because they wanted us to find the coordinate, okay? Which means we now need to sub it into here. And then Y is approximately, so I'm going to just do the storing method, 0 0.718 store is A. I'm going to do bracket 1 plus 3 E to 3 A cubed to the power of 1 third. 1 plus 3 E to the 3 A cubed to the 1 third, yeah. So we get about 2 point, so to 3 SF that will be 2 point, one six. Okay, so therefore P is approximately zero point seven one eight and two point one six to three SF. And guys, this was inspiration from another question that I found, and I literally just changed the numbers a little bit. Luckily, it worked out. Basically, it had like two 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 two, and I just changed it to three 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 three, and I hadn't tried it, but. I just YOLO'd it and this is what came out of it and it worked, which is great. So I'd appreciate if you hit the like button just for me making up a question on the spot. So yeah guys, if you did learn something though, do hit the like button and subscribe for more maths content. If you're interested in my full A-level maths courses, more details are in the description and feel free to join the Learn Gang Reddit page if you want to submit your own questions and get feedback. I'll see you in the next video. Nice.